Today we'll be installing a universal joint in a front axle shaft. This is a standard needle bearing roller style design. This is not going to be the same for a super joint. We will have a video coming soon for the super joint. The first thing you want to do is make sure your area is clean and free of contaminants. You're going to deburr the inside of the yoke with a flat file. Next, he will use a round file to deburr the bores. Once the bores have been cleaned, put a small amount of grease inside of the bore to allow the cap to install it easier. You can have up to a few thousandths interference before the, between the bore and the cap. If using snap tight design universal joints, do not add additional grease. You will remove the caps of the new universal joint. Make sure not to disturb the needles. Once the caps are removed on the non snap tight design, put a thin layer of high quality wheel bearing grease in the caps to ensure the needles do not fall down. Do not use white lithium grease. If installing a joint with either zerk fittings in the cap or in the cross, do not install these until the joint is completely installed. Insert the cross into the yoke of the axle and install the cap. Make sure to hold the cross up while pounding on the cap, ensuring the needles do not fall down. Drive the cap past flush through the yoke bore. This will help with the installation of the other side. Again, you want to make sure you hold the cross up while pounding on the cap. Make sure the other side does not completely come out of the other cap. If it does, you may drop a needle. You will need to put the joint into a vise with undersized sockets pressing in on the caps. This will allow you to move the axle yoke back and forth with a brass punch to allow clearance for the clips. You can either pound on the outside of the yoke or the inside of the yoke. To move the axle for clearance, pound on the axle side. If the ears are bent inward and you need to open them back up, hit the open side with the brass punch. Once both clips are in, the joint may feel very tight. Hold the cross and hit the outside of the yoke with a hammer, which will seat the caps and loosen up the joint. It is not critical if the joint still feels tight, but it is critical that the caps are seated. Now it's time to install the other axle shaft. Insert the cross into the yoke of the axle and install the cap. Make sure to hold the cross up while pounding on the cap, ensuring the needles do not fall down. Drive the cap past flush through the yoke board. This will help with the installation of the other side. Again, make sure to hold the cross up while pounding on the cap. Also, make sure the other side does not completely come out of the other cap. If it does, a needle may fall down. You will need to put the joint into a vise with undersized sockets pressing in on the caps. This will allow you to move the axle yoke back and forth with a brass punch to allow clearance for the kit. Clips. You can either pound on the outside of the yoke or the inside of the yoke. To move the axle for clearance, pound on the axle side. If the ears are bent inward and you need to open them back up, hit the open side with a brass punch.
Once both clips are in, the joint may feel very tight. Hold the cross and hit the outside of the yoke with a hammer, which will seat the caps and loosen up the joint. It is not critical if the joint still feels tight, but it is critical that the caps are seated. Once the joint is completed, install Zerk fittings if equipped and add additional grease.